Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans handover video for the Coachman 575 Acadia. Uh, new to our range for this year, we've just taken Coachman on. Uh, but I'm just going to go around, show you the outside, how things work here. And then we'll go inside to see how things are. As always, I start at the back with my videos. So, see a big sign Coachman, so it's got the Highline brake light, light clusters. So there's for indicators, reverse lights, brake lights and running lights. Area for your number plate. Underneath you've got where the corners, yeah, your corner steadies. Okay, so we'll start on the offside. Uh, all of the Coachman range have the uh, reservoirs for the toilet flush. So you will always uh, need to either have pink or can just use water if you wish. Uh, but this is the reservoir here. So fluid in there. Uh, so the pink fluid, uh, we always used to use a, just a, an old two litre pop bottle. Um, and with, with that, just uh, put the required amount in the bottle and then uh, just fill up with water and, and pour in and use to your heart's content. It's always difficult doing this one-handed. They are impossible. So, here's what I prepared earlier. Okay, so it's the standard toilet, uh, the Thetford cassette. Uh, lift that out, just pulled out directly to you. Very important to know, particularly now it's winter. Uh, this has, uh, when you fill the reservoir up, you will need to empty it. So there is a pipe that lives just up there. Pipe comes out, open the bung, and gravity gravity will do the rest, uh, making sure that all the uh, fluid comes out. You don't want any in there over winter time. Right. So the cassette itself. Okay. So this is normally has a lid on it. Uh, this being new, the lid's not been put on yet. Uh, but open the spout. Well, you'll know when this needs emptying, as the light comes on in the tea, uh, in the toilet, just to say, uh, you know, empty me, please. So take that lid off, uh, put it somewhere safe. You don't want that falling into uh, the nasty places that it's going to go. And to empty, literally just lift, pull forward, press this button to uh, release any air pressure, and away you go. You'll want to rinse that out. So lid back on, slider open, open that flap, uh, and then there's, uh, with the hose pipe that would generally be available on site, rinse through. You can just see down there, there's the float that tells you when the cassette is, uh, is, is full, but then slide that back, swill it around, repeat process of, uh, of emptying. Okay. Then this just literally slides back in, and that bit clips in there. Okay, so that's the toilet side done. Okay, alloy wheels on all of these uh, models. Uh, wheel nuts are torqued to 130 Newton meters. And then we come to the uh, to the back. So in the battery box. Obviously, I'm currently without battery. Uh, but that's where your electric hookup is and you've also got a uh, couple of tv antenna points behind there okay so next to the water and we'll cover that now so the water in inlet is uh it's the whale system let's slide that up as so this just pushes into there and that then clips down just to hold in place. Then the electric part of the pump, which is this bit, goes into your aqua roll. This bit then covers over the hole to stop any uh, any detritus getting in. Okay. This also has a little clip, a uh, little hole down here, and that is just to clip your pipe in when you're uh, going to fill up your water roll to stop the end falling on the floor. Not too much of a problem with this one because this is just our little demo uh, 
demo pump, but that's the way that works. Then to remove, release, just take that out. Simple as that. Okay, the last thing on this side is the Alde exhaust system. So this runs on the Alde heating system. It's the new 3030 Alde panel as well. Um, so it, it's just a slightly different uh, system. Well, the system works the same, slightly different display. I'll go through that uh, in detail in a little while. Uh, but that's just the exhaust port if you are running on gas or on, well, no, you're heating or hot water on gas. Very simple. So, two front lockers on the, uh, on the coachman's. The one on the off side is literally just an empty space. So, just to put a few little items in there, maybe your electric cable, etc. And the other side is the gas locker. So these are set up for, you can have two bottles. Two bottles, as you can see, uh, two six kilos preferably. Also in there, you've got all your uh, weight plate information. So it tells you the, uh, the VIN number, which is the Chris number you might hear it known as, uh, the maximum plated weight and the maximum run in order. So coming around onto the near side, a couple of things here. First, the barbecue point and a little Gemini clip. You just need to get some uh, of the pressure gas hose. Um, please, I, I say this every time I do a video, but please uh, remember, uh, don't use a, a gas barbecue inside a bar inside a, an awning. Recipe for disaster. Also in here, an external electric point. This is not nice, nice to have. And this is just a locker that goes underneath the front bench. Uh, so, awning lights, uh, fridge and freezer um, vents, nothing to do there. And this again is just a locker to go, that goes under the bed, an external locker. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go inside and have a quick look around. And then we'll go do a bit more detail. So, inside we come. So, front seating area, two benches, sort of fairly standard layout. Got some nice work, uh, covered space at the top. That's where the, uh, the radio will be. Again, kitchen area. Fair amount of covered space. Now you've also got a, a worktop extension, which is nice. Got the uh, small domestic fridge. They're not that small, they're more than adequate, particularly if there's only a couple of you. Microwave, obviously the bedroom area. Beds do lift up, the carpets are underneath them, so they don't, you know, we don't send them out with this general class of plastic on the floor. <laughs> nice velvety headboard, a couple of little things on the side. Nice size wardrobes. And as I said, loop. This is where the light comes on when the cassette needs uh, emptying. I'll try to avoid the mirror. Uh, but it's a, and also a very nice size shower. Okay. So then what we're going to do, go through it in a bit more detail, uh, turn everything off to start with, and then we'll uh, go through the process of starting everything. Okay, so powering on, oddly enough, is the power button. Uh, lights on and off, off now, now on. That's your awning light, and that's the water pump. So when you've got your pump and the water connected, 
that's your water pump. This, this indicates the battery level. I mean, we're plugged in in the mains at the moment, so that's not going to mean a lot. Um, but what this will show when you're just on the battery, just past this point here, the orange point here, between the orange and green, that's your 12 volt signifier. So anything less than that, so you've got 12 volt, 11 volt, 10 volt, and down to 9 volt. So you don't want to be in that area. You definitely want to be around about here. And this button does absolutely nothing, which <laughs> is a surprise to me. But uh, yeah, it does absolutely nothing. Okay. So lights, as I was saying. So you can see some of the lights have come on when you turn the main lights on. Lots of individual little lights, and these are lovely because they, there's a little touch. You just touch them, and they do a, like the ring, the outside, and then the full light. So you double touch, and the full light comes on. Really nice. Uh, quite a nice little feature, that. I do like that. Also, particularly uh, enjoyable. I don't know if I can really to show you this. Oh, I will try. Right, so there's a, a strip light underneath the, uh, well, above the kitchen area. Turn that on, comes out nice and bright. If you hold it for a while, it works as a dimmer as well. So you can dim it, turn it off, turn it on, hold it full. Yeah, so that is nice and bright. Very nice, sir. Right, so important things in the UK. Heating, more than anything. So. This, I was saying outside, this is the Alder panel. It's the new 30, uh, the 3030 panel. Um, slightly different from anything you've seen before, I'd imagine. Well, unless you've got a new caravan, of course. Um, but the, the principles are exactly the same as uh, previously. But I will show you just the displays now. Right, power on and off. Very simply, the power button. The power back on. Oh, the comp compact 3030. I believe it gives you about 10 litres of hot water now rather than the eight and a half before. Um, so there is a bit more hot water with it, which is nice. Um, but the, the, the mechanics of it are pretty much the same. So what this is showing me at the moment is we're plugged into the electric. That's the time flashing up there. Well, no, it isn't, but that is uh, where the time, where you can set the time. And at the moment, we're just showing we're requesting it to be 21 degrees in here. It's currently at 15 and a half. Uh, to increase or decrease the plus and the minus, so minus, bring you down, plus will bring you up. Very simple. Uh, quite a simple solution. Then press menu to get back to your settings. So you can set a night mode. Uh, this is where, you know, if you want it cooler at night, press on the night mode. You can put whatever day you want, start time, end time, uh, what temperature would you like. I don't know if you can see that very clearly on it. Not very clear in here, so, uh, uh, but that's the temperature you require. And then you can set it by pressing that button there in the middle. To get back, the arrow, day mode works the same as the night mode. You, you can set temperature to whatever you like for as long as you like for what time you like. Uh, also, that will work on the hot water as well on day mode. So the day hot water is on in day mode. You can turn it off in day mode if you wish to do so. Then you can to change, put whatever dates you're going to be there or days and then press on. Hot water press and then we're ready to go. However, we don't need that at the moment. So day mode is on again, just turn it there and you can turn it off. Pump is on auto, that's fine. Delayed start, or if you want to, to get down to the next sort of sheet, I suppose you could call it, next page. Um, you've got the display, sound, language, display. You've got a brightness and a status page. So status normal, uh, it just shows you the normal colors. Inverted, just takes the darkness into it. normal or you can turn it dark All right so this page brilliant do like this menu gets you to everywhere by the way just shows you the indoor if I press on that that will get to that page where we were originally go back again mention menu again energy okay so it's this is where you choose what fuel you're going to use so you've got the 
electricity. So you've got obviously off, one kilowatt, two kilowatts, three kilowatts, or you have gas. So you can turn the gas on just by pressing that. Obviously we've got no gas connected in here at the moment, so that's not working. Uh, but you can go up to, he says, pressing it incorrectly, up to three kilowatts, if you've got that much power available. Two kilowatts, that's pretty much recommended, uh, what I recommend, <coughs> only because most sites will be, you know, have enough electricity for that particular function, you know, to have that many. Once it's already warmed up, you can then go back to one kilowatt, just to, uh, you know, keep the keep the electri electricity uh, bills down for the site owners, but two kilowatts to get things started. Then back, and you've got hot water, so the choices are on or boost. Now, 30 minutes of boost. Uh, if you press that boost, that will take all the power from the hot, from the Alder system to the hot water, so it will take it away from the heating. Your water will heat up faster, but your heating will go off. Uh, and to be honest, with the heating hot water on, that's generally enough for 95% of the time, if not all of the time. It's probably clear as mud. We will give you a book. However, what I'm also, I've got, I've been onto the uh, Alder site and I've got the, a link that they um, explain everything about this system on, probably more clearly than I do. Um, so I will add that link to all of the handover video uh, things I send out. Just it, 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 This won't take long to sort out, trust me, it'll be fine. But I, I, you know, just to make sure we're all singing from the same hymn sheet, I will get, uh, I will send the Aldi owners uh, their own video out. We'll link to the video anyway. Then to turn everything off, power off. Uh, at that point though, the uh, that, that everything in there has now saved. Okay, so when you turn it back on, you'll be at the same same area. Well, so you'll be on the same levels, same temperature, and, and hot water, whatever. So whilst we're talking about water, uh, here in the UK, uh, we do like to use our caravans in the winter as well. Um, but you still need, you will need to drain down um, your hot water tank and your taps um, for winter or when you're not using it. And to show you where those drain down taps are, I do need to remove these cushions. So bear with me a second while I uh, take all those out for you. Okay, so cushions up and out the way. Uh, there's the uh, Alda Hot Water Compact 3030 boiler. So that's, uh, that's their new uh, and improved uh, boiler. Hopefully you can see down here, we have got two yellow taps. One is connected to the red. Uh, I can't really see that in here, but yeah, you can now, right? So that, uh, the yellow tap on the red pipe, that is to empty, and in the position it's in at the moment, we'll let our water out of this, uh, the system, out of the hot water tank. On the right-hand side, the yellow tap on the blue pipe is to drain down all of the taps and everything. So once you open that up, as it is now, and that will then drain all the water out of the taps, but make sure you open the taps so the air comes through and everything comes out. You don't want any water or liquid in here, uh, apart from the glycol from the heating uh, reservoir uh, during this time. Okay, so in the position they are at the moment, in the vertical position, that lets the water out. So when you want to put the water back, back in, you need to put those back down uh, to the horizontal. Okay. Also under here uh, is the, uh, although you can only see the top of it until I open the uh, case. There you've got your breaker switches and your fuse. So that's the, you know, your power support, power supply in there. Okay, so back in the room. Right. Uh, Standard features, tables come up at the front so you can have a uh, glass of wine in the evening or a cup of tea in the morning or coffee, whatever your beverage of choice is. Again, storage areas down here. All of the coachmen, now this is the Acadia range we're looking at at the moment. 
Uh, this is their, well, I hate just calling the starter range, but this is their least specced uh, um, range. They all have uh, alarms, so tilt sensors and a PIR sensor. Um, really nicely spec, you know, spec'd out, uh, including the Alder heating that we've already seen. Um, even the, the cushions are really, really comfortable. Um, but you've got plenty of uh, sockets and lights around. So light switches. Like I said, th these are all individuals. You've got socket there, 230 socket, 230 volt socket, I should say. Also another one there by the kitchen area. Kitchen area itself, I could say it's quite, it's quite standard. There's a nice large sink. Really nice looking uh, mixer taps. Cupboard space aplenty. You don't have to fill everything up, but probably most of you will. <laughs> and here we've got the, uh, the obligatory standalone table. Nice big drawers. Covered underneath. Thetford uh, cooker, so these cookers all have uh, one electric hob, three gas burners um, to light the gas. Spike is back there. Um, obviously, I say obviously, it might not be too obvious. If the lid is down, the gas will not fire up. Um, I'm not sure on this particular model of. Um, of cooker if that will still heat up um, if you are worried about that whilst the lid is down there is and again it's a bit dark in here it's very dark in here but there is a plug which you can just unplug to negate any of that problem so it's got a separate grill and oven it does have a grill plate it's just we've removed it at the moment this is our demo model uh, Everything has been taken out of it at the moment, so it might not look as nice as some of our videos have done uh, for things being around. Microwave, it's a microwave. 800 watt microwave, does what a microwave does. Uh, you've also got the area for your TV here. So it's actually a really big area, so you could probably get, I mean, most people only have a 24 inch TV. You might be able to get something a bit bigger on there if you wanted to do so. Uh, but you've got the 12 volt socket and your coax point and also the 230 volt socket there. All right, bedroom area. Again, another TV point. So a point for the TV there. It's got a horrible picture in there. Oh, that's me. Uh, wardrobe. It has got one of the con concertina screens uh, for privacy. In here, I'm sorry, there's the uh, for the there's the plug uh, for the microwave. So you've got your Alder fluid in there. Uh, five change fluid every five years. So you know you have, you've got quite a while to wait um, for that point. You shouldn't need to worry about the the levels either. As long as when this, the the fluid is cold, that it, the fluid is just above minimum, that is absolutely fine uh, because the as you can see the fluid does expand so if you've got it at maximum to start with once it expanded it can um, just overflow and it'll just go for overflow outside the caravan on the floor okay what I do want to show you is a really nif nifty touch well done coachman uh, on these lights so like that on the kitchen on the two lights in the bedroom USB points also a light switch here, which turns off the, kit, the, the bedroom light, which I think is a really nice, a really nice touch. Um, so you've also got a place to, to keep your cups of tea in the morning when your significant other brings you that in the morning. I've heard that some people have had that done to them. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> okay. Bathroom lights for the bathroom. I say toilet, Thetford toilet, does swivel, the seat swivels, um, there's your flush, uh, like I say that will uh, light up when the cassette needs emptying, but when you need to empty it, 
as in when you need to uh, remove the contents of whatever you've put in there. And then it's just slide across to, to release it into the cassette, but make sure you bring that back, uh, otherwise you can't take the, uh, you won't be able to get the cassette out, at which point you'll get cross with it, pull it too hard and break something. Okay, so right then we've got the, obviously the sink and taps, nice big shower, towel rail, towel holder I should say, hook as well, but yeah the shower's a really nice size, and they've got a little handy, little holder, little drying rack, <laughs> I know I'm a child, I can't help it, so, Pretty much, that's most of the inside. Oh, the fridge, didn't get to the fridge. Oh, the important thing, the beer chiller. So, the fridge itself. Turn the power on, thumb on top, and hold it. Okay, now we've got the mode. We can change it to running off the car battery. Um, that's when you're in transit and will only be of any benefit if the fridge is already cold. Uh, sorry about the beeping, I will change that over in a moment, I'll stop that, just shows you, but well we're not connected to a car, that's why. Gas, you can run it on gas, again, in a minute that'll start beeping away, but because um, we're not on gas. Go straight to electric, um, as I was saying, sorry, briefly, when running on uh, the car battery, so if, as long as the fridge is cold, and you've got the 13 pin plug, or two sevens, uh, that, that run um, from the car, uh, the fridge should, well, would remain cold. It will maintain the temperature. It will not cool it down from the start. So if you're in a storage yard, it will make no difference at all. But when you're coming home, you can keep those valuable items of yours, whether they be liquid or not, uh, nice and chilled. But So gas would also run on gas. Electric, my little favourite though, go on to auto. And it'll automatically go on to wherever you are. So if you're on site, you've been on there for a while, you're packing up ready to go. If you've left it on auto, as soon as you leave the fridge on, as soon as you put plug the car in and turn the ignition on, on you go. And that will maintain the temperature. And to change the temperature, simple as that. Open the catches, and there's your nice little fridge. Free to point, so you can keep your eyes for your Bacardi and Cokes, or gin and tonics, or whatever your particular, particular tipple is. Then these lock into place while you're in transit to make sure that your door stays closed. Okay, a little cutlery drawer above the fridge, nice and handy. Blinds, pretty standard. Um, blackout blinds. Bring them down again, you've got the fly screens, standard catches for the windows. Again, these are nice um, to, uh, it's probably quite difficult to do this with one hand. Uh, hold down, twist, as you can see, if I twist, twist the bar, those lugs come off, pull back, and uh, that'll, that'll stay in place with the, I guess it's almost impossible with this, but to make sure those lugs go back in. I'll be showing everyone how to do that uh, on the handovers, I think. Uh, it's easier with, uh, with two hands and one. Um, as always, uh, if anyone has anything, any questions about this model or any of the other models uh, that we have, um, whether it's Coachman, uh, Eldis, Buccaneer, please feel free to give us a call on 01373 752100, option one for sales, um, and we'll help out as much as we can. If you do like these videos, please subscribe and or like the video and subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, we, I will be doing quite a few of these Coachman um, handover videos uh, because we've got some demos in, which is nice. So if you do want to come and see the Coachman, we've got five in at the moment. Um, we're expecting a couple more tomorrow, um, so a couple of lasers, uh, the 545 Extra and the 575 Extra. 
Uh, we have the VIP 575. We have a Luso 1. Uh, we also have a, a Laser XL 855 and an 875. Uh, so if you do fancy coming on down, come on and have a look. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.